All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is video two in a three-part series on upgrading our solar batteries. Uh, in the first video, which I'll link below, we did an introduction to our rack mount batteries. And in this video, we're actually gonna get them installed. We're here with our hybrid inverter system. We have our existing sealed batteries up here, which we're going to be repurposing them somewhere else. And then we're gonna go with the light time rack mount batteries. So stay tuned. For those of you that watched the first video first, uh, you'll notice that I actually bought a second battery because I did like the first one so much and I wanted to put these into service at the same time. Ideally with lithium, you want to put your whole battery bank in at the same time, purchase them around the same time. That way they mature together. Um, you don't want to add more batteries down the road and have, have the original batteries that are already a little degraded tearing down that first one. So I ended up just biting a bullet, grabbed a second battery. And so my first step here is let's get this ready. I also purchased a server rack for this, so we'll show you installation of that here in a minute. But the first step is put these server rack ears on. Again, these are optional. If you're not gonna do a rack, you don't need these. But I'm gonna get these screwed on to the side of my batteries here, and then I'll show you guys the next step. All right, so now I got the rack ears mounted on both batteries, and we're gonna jump to the next step. So I went ahead and equalize these batteries. They do recommend anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. Uh, you're just tying the positive and negative together, turn both breakers on, and letting them to get the same voltage. So that is the step that I did last night. And now let's get them installed. All right, like I mentioned, I ended up purchasing a server rack. This is actually a pretty heavy duty rack to carry the weight of these batteries. They're close to 100 pounds each. Uh, again, shelving would be fine as well. I just wanted a little bit neater of a look and that way we can roll this around if needed. I also pre-mounted these bus bars on the side. I have my negative and my positive over here. I'm going to mount the batteries next and we're gonna get it all wired up. I think the easiest way to do this is actually flip this rack on its back. And that way I can drop the batteries right in without having to hold them and screw them because they are pretty heavy. So let me do that and then we can always flip the rack back. All right, that went pretty easy. Let's stand this guy back up and get it all wired in. All right, so let me get them wired up to the bus bars here. Uh, the manual calls for a six wire. Uh, I'm definitely going a little overkill with a two wire, but better safe than sorry for me. But again, if you're going by the specs, two wire are gonna be fine. Uh, the breaker's off, so it shouldn't be putting out any power. Pop my tabs here, and we're gonna feed right out of each positive over to the bus bar, and then from the bus bar, we're gonna feed into our inverter. So we're not gonna actually parallel these. So let me get these wired up. All right, so we got the batteries connected to the bus bar. Next step is to spin this rack around and disconnect our old batteries, hook them up to the bus bar here, and we will be connected to the inverter. And then finally, we'll make our adjustments on the inverter as far as setting. So it's coming right along. Okay, we've had these Amper Time batteries, which is now light time. Uh, we've had these in service for almost two years and we have 24 volt, 100 amp in series to get us 48 volt, 200 amp. Um, we're gonna move these into the RV and we're going to whip the battery cable down to our new rack mounts. Um, so that is kind of what we're doing here. Got our leads coming from the inverter. We're gonna put it on the bus bar and then we gotta do some programming. Next up here is put our covers on the bus bars to dress them in and protect them from any touching. All right, so this is the finished product here. Got it all wired in. 
All right, so we got the rack in place. We got it all wired up. The inverter charger right now is humming away. Got all the parameters programmed in via the manual here. So now you guys have seen the specs on these batteries. You've seen us install the batteries. And our third video is gonna be a couple more weeks out. We're gonna release another video, so subscribe to the channel. And we're gonna give you an update on how they perform. How they're working with our solar, how they're using for backup, and we're gonna use them as a secondary input versus the grid. So hopefully that's gonna save us even more money on our utility bill. So all in all, great backup system. Hopefully some cost savings from our electric bill. And so far I'm really impressed with the robustness of these batteries and the ease of hookup. So definitely subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys on the next video. And if this is longer term out, we'll leave that link below for the third video. See you guys soon.